ah, that's very nice of our from both our our dear friends and our friends who are participating in the sport, who are keeping fit and doing some exercises. And Lena Mumba, a member of Samuel Matete Academy, is an upcoming athlete in uh, long jump and hundred meters. She now gives us the she now gives us a rundown of her progress. I started in school at Kama Secondary School. My favorite event was long jump, yes. So when I wrote my grade 12 exam, I joined Sama Matete Club, and I'm very happy because I'm going to be at national level. Uh, here at Sama Matete Club, I'm learning long jump techniques so that I can jump far. I passed my grade 12 exam, and I got flying colors. So doing, uh, doing these exercises can help prevent teenage pregnancies. And most of the girls, if you go in villages, they are getting pregnant because of lack of knowledge. So when I come here at Matete Club, I'll, I won't have the time to go and have boyfriends and do what and what. Yes, so here at Matete Club, you can learn a lot. I started from school where I did long jump and running 100 meters. Yes. So I got interest because I was seeing Mr. Matete was the, was the world champion. Yes. So I also want to be like him, maybe more than him. <laughs> These athletics can help you travel in, in many countries, in China, where and where. So I also want to go in different countries. So I'm encouraging you, my friends, because when you're doing athletics, you'll be able to to go in a lot of countries and you'll be exposed. I'm also encouraging the children, you can start, at, don't look at the age. You can start athletics just as young as you are. Parents must also assist because some parents discourage their children that if you start doing, especially a girl child, you start doing athletics, you'll be looking like a man. So parents should also involve themselves in, in sports because it can help them raise their child properly in a good way. Yes, they are also used for building muscles because if I'm not that flexible, I won't be able to do my long jump and I want to jump far. So I'm, those exercises I was doing are going to help me jump far and my body will be flexible. My friends, I would like to tell you that don't look at what people are saying because you, you need to have courage to yourself. So doing as right, don't think about what people are saying. Maybe you are fat or what. Exercises are not like that. And athletics, there are a lot of events that you can do. Maybe you can do long jump, discus, and athletics, even football. So don't look up what, to, to what people are saying. That's very nice of her uh, working hard and keeping up with good progress. And now with us, joining us in the studio is the legend, world, world champion, 400 meters uh, hurdles, Samuel Matete, to tell us the importance of why, of why children have, have, should have some interest in sports. Welcome, Samuel. Thank you very much, Matthews. And it's, it's, uh, it was quite interesting to see the young girl there you know, uh, showing us uh, what it's supposed to be. And she, as you can see, she just came from, from uh, secondary school. The, the results were out and she did very well in her grade 12 exams. Now she's transitioning, you know, from the, 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 the secondary uh, sports to the club sports, you know, and then from the club to the sports, of course, now she'll, be, she'll have an opportunity to compete at uh, Zambia Athletics national competitions. And God knows with the talent that she has, she should be able one day to represent Zambia. And I also noticed that there were a lot of different abled children, you know, with disabilities. You know, uh, Matthews, what's so, what's so good about sport is that there is uh, uh, Paralympics, you know, the last Olympic Games which were held in Japan. We had the Paralympics. So you, you can see that we have a lot of different abled uh, children that can actually 
uh, represent Zambia and, uh, and, and do us proud. But they also need to be given a platform. The schools, are, the, the, the secondary schools are doing a great job. You can see they have already created a platform uh, for them uh, to, to play, uh, to, to, to run, jump, and do all sorts of sports there. Now, what we are missing is for them now the transition to come to our club. And then from the club there, of course, we have uh, uh, you know, uh, coaches like me who can now transform them into bigger dreams. And that's what we, are, we want. Yes. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some questions. Um, why do you think uh, sports are important? Well, I can even write a book about that. And, and, and what you're seeing here, Matthew, is a good example of what sport did to me. Uh, not only to me, but to many other young people who engage themselves in sport. Sport is not about running and winning or playing and winning, no. Uh, there's a lot more uh, to sports. Uh, remember, when we, are, uh, we, when we are born, you know, there are two things. We have the mental and the physical. And I always like to give an example of if you go in space, remember, if you go in space, uh, you float uh, because of there's no gravity, okay? But whatever, no matter how much they are going to send a man to the moon, they have to come down on Earth. Why? Because there are so many problems that they encounter when they are just floating. It's nice, but they start having bone loss. And eventually, if they stay too long, they can die. So that's why, that's just one of the importance of sports. We all also encourage, even all the, I'm pretty sure, Matthew, maybe your dad, your mom, they do exercise. Yeah. You can see all these uh, other people, they do exercise. Exercise doesn't mean that they have to go out and run. Even walking. Walking is a good success because these bodies are meant uh, to, be, to make sure that we pound the bones so the bones can be strong. So, and then look at the healthy issues that we've had in the past. You know, but those that are doing exercises, they continue to strengthen their immune system. They continue to strengthen their, their, their physical bodies. So it's just as important so much that uh, you are going to school, eh? you are learning and you want to be whatever you want to be. Eh? But how important is your physical? Eh? Imagine if you, uh, if, if you, if you are uh, a different, different able person where you can't be able to walk and you're just confined to the uh, chair. Eh? Eh? For example, that's, I'm just giving an example so you can understand how important the physical is because you need to move. So you are, in other words, you are restricted eh, in your movement and doing uh, uh, different things. So that's why exercise, it helps a lot because you, you can, uh, just like the, uh, the saying by the founder of the modern Olympics is a healthy mind in a healthy body. Thank you. Uh, to the next question, how do you think sports improve mental abilities? Well, in fact, there is a scientific uh, evidence that um, those that do well in sports also do well in ac academics. Uh, because, uh, uh, y you know, any time when you're exercising, there's so many things that, uh, that I mean. Remember, when, when you have, st for example, when you have stress, if you do exercises, it completely reduces that stress. Yeah. Any time you're doing exercise, it's, 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 uh, there's, there's so many activities in the body that, that happens to ensure that the body becomes uh, uh, more, um, more alert. You know, the body becomes more energetic. Remember the muscles, the muscles we have, uh, they need to be exercised so that they can, uh, uh, they can get stronger and we have to feel good about ourselves. Yes. And how do you think uh, sports can help m can make you a better person? Well, first of all, you <coughs> you've noticed that most of our children in the compound, you know, they are, <coughs> um, they are stressed <coughs> because of the, uh, the needs that... Uh, 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 that they need to do. In, in, uh, for, uh, for example, you find that when they finish the uh, school, they have nothing to do. And in fact, most of, uh, most of our, 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 our teenagers, they really literally just get bored. They have really have nothing to do. That's why they resort to, to doing all sorts of bad things because they have so much energy uh, that they need to channel that energy into. So they end up doing bad things because they have, not, they have no sport. Uh, but with sport, let, let's look at an example of what Lena said, you know, because of sport, she's able to come out and she's now enjoying sports because now she has some other things that she's looking up. Yeah. For example, we have the ZAR uh, national competition coming up next weekend. And for the first time, she's now going to compete at 
and feel good about herself because now she's, she's energetic and realize that, oh, there's more to life. I, I, I can't be bored because imagine if she was at home now, she would just be waiting for the uh, uh, next uh, thing that she's going to do after school. But because of sport, now she has found herself into sport and she's enjoying it. And alongside with that, we make sure that she gets in school and back to where she needs to do alongside with sport. All right. Thank you, Samuel. It was a privilege speaking to you. No, thank you so much. And that was uh, Samuel Matete. And that was Samuel Matete.